Welcome back to another episode of Satisfactory Update 6. And on this episode, guys, we're going to be diving in on getting our vehicular transportation up and running. We're going to try to get basic steel up and running and maybe try to tick away at some of these Tier 4 updates. And with that, we're going to have to work at getting a few more of our lines. We want to get our modular frame line done and our rotor line manufacturing all taken care of. So with that said, sit back, relax, and let's jump into it. All right, some production lines. That's what we are kind of shy on here right now. I think we've got, let me have a look here at this first production line. We do have the reinforced iron plate, so that's good news for us. We have smart plating, which we're not actively using for anything at all. We don't really have any more room down here for doing rotors. And I don't think I started doing a rotor production line up here. Oh, maybe I did. Maybe I did. Oh, I did get rotors done. So rotors is actually done for us as well, too. So when I need rotors, I just come and grab a hundred of them out of here at a time. I don't think I have a separate storage for it. That's kind of the big, the big thing there. So the other one we got to get done is modular frames that we got to get building. So let's just throw down a assembler here and just see what is needed for the modular frames. We're just going to put this here for right now. Modular frames. We need reinforced plate and iron rods to be able to pull that off. So... Uh, I don't think that's going to be too difficult. I just got to find the right place to get it built. And so let me just pick a location here and we'll get things started. I was just doing some quick little exploring out here just before um, we got into making our modular frame factory. And I came across this that did require one modular frame to get it all set up. So I've opened it up and I've got my first hard drive that we're going to be able to research on, on now. Drive has been so we will be able to recover that information for Salvaging alternate recipes. Hard drive. Okay, so we have our production line here now for the modular frames done. We are feeding our reinforced iron plate in. It's coming from a reinforced iron plate manufacturing line just below us here which is just down here. And um, yeah, this is, what are we manufacturing? I think we're manufacturing like 10 per minute out of here. This is only using two per minute. So that leaves us eight per minute. And I think up top we're, we're only needing like six per minute of those. So uh, I think we're, we're doing okay right now for our reinforced iron plate. Um, I don't have any like overflow storage and anything for Mark II conveyors. If I need extra, I just come over here and grab it out of the machine. Um, Cause eventually of course we'll be upgrading to Mark III once we get to, I think it's steel beams is what it requires to be able to make the, it's either steel beams or encased industrial steel beams for Mark III conveyor belts, which we will be upgrading to eventually. but. We do have modular frames now getting manufactured, so we can start saving up some materials here to be able to unlock some more tiers. And right, now that we've made it back to the base and I've got that hard drive with me, we'll just throw it into the MAM research here. You click on hard drives and then click scan hard drive. It does take minutes, 10 minutes to scan the hard drive, and then we will see what alternate recipe we will get out of that drive. All right, we are back at our hub here. We have done, I've done a little bit of prep. so. Um, over at the coal power plant, I actually pulled the coal from a different source over there. There was a couple of normal nodes that was a little bit further off in the distance that I have now pulled. I've combined those two normal nodes into one 120 item per minute line that's now coming. If I zoom in over there, you can actually see way off in the distance. There's two Mark I miners there that are merging together. That is what's feeding our coal power plant now. Because the other coal node that you can actually just see peeking through the trees right there, that one I have actually brought upstairs to kind of prep for getting ready for some steel work so that we can start making um, our steel, steel manufacturing. I also brought up another iron line here. So I had another node of iron 
right here that we are pulling a feed from and that is feeding up to the top floor as well so we have coal and iron going up to the top floor that's going to be used for our steel production but i'm pretty sure we are ready to go to start uh turning in maybe one or two of these milestones here that we have for tier three so let's look at tier three vehicular transportation we have everything we need for this so we've got our modular frames we've got our rotors we've got cabling and we have iron rods launch away that is completed milestone reach. all right so what do i need for the next milestone let's select that let's go basic steel production we need modular frames which we're good we need rotors i gotta go get some more concrete we're good and some more copper wire so i'm gonna go gather up those materials and then we'll be able to finish off tier three and it is returning we've got our pod here should be landing any second so that we can finish off tier three we have our copper wiring i did go and grab the rotors so let us go to select milestone we're doing this one we're going to actively select it modular frames rotors i didn't grab enough rotors i can grab some more um copper cabling no sorry copper wire and concrete let's quickly go grab it was 150 rotors that needed i only grabbed a stack of 100 i thought oh yeah that'll be plenty here we are we're in that rain again we've got that kind of wet look here on the on the ground which is just a great new feature we have here and I do like that it's it's well defined. So if, there, if there's a roof over top, the ground's not wet. It stays it stays dry. So they've done a good job of making sure that you know graphically that all works out. Like if you we step through here, you can see the little water droplets splashing off the ground, and you can see that clearly this foundation is wet and this foundation is dry. So kudos to them kudos to them okay let's go actively turn this in now some more rotors launch away that means tier three is completely done so let that's our steel production that we can start breaking into which of course we're going to need steel pipe to be able to finish um the advanced steel production uh, hyper tubes, we need steel pipe and industrial case beams. And then finally, for Logistics 3, this is an important one. We need iron beams, or sorry, steel beams. We need steel pipe and concrete. This gets us power storage. This gets us industrial storage container, which is the two-tiered storage container. We get the Mark III conveyor belt for both the, the belt and the elevator, as well as the stackable pipe line as well. Those are, are super important for us. So let's go start working on getting our steel production. And steel production, what is that going to be to be able to get that going? If we look under our production lines here, we now get the new boundary. So we're gonna be building foundries up there and in the foundry, if we put one down on the ground here, we have a look at it. To make steel ingots, it requires 45 iron per minute and 45 coal per minute that we're going to be using. So that's what we get to work with. Let's go get steel production up and running. All right, so we're up here on the top floor to get things all rolling. And when we looked at those foundries, it was going to be three it's 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 45 iron per minute and 45 copper per minute well i have 120 of each right now so that means we're about 15 iron 15 coal short from being able to do three full foundries in here but we're gonna build this like it's three full foundries because what i can do is when i get the mark three conveyor belts i can overclock my one my uh, mark one miners to be able to produce enough that we can get up to that 135 items per minute that we would be needed for that. So we'll start off by putting down, we're gonna put down our three foundries here and we're gonna line it up right about here and we'll put three of these units down, lining them up to each other. 
And of course, I don't have enough modular frames. I can't afford to do that. Whoa, whoa, quick, go to four. I nearly ran off the edge. That would have been really nasty. Now, what floor do I have those modular frames being built? I think it's the next floor down. It's this one. I think it's that container right there. Let me grab some more of these bad boys. That should be plenty. So I'm going to load balance this as though I have 135 items per minute coming from both of those. Because all I'm going to need is two power slugs to make two power shards. And we can overclock those a little bit. I think overclocking's unlocked. It might not be, but we're going to find out here real quick. I think it is because we can make the power shards now. All right, so first things first is we are going to have to distribute this iron evenly out here. So um, let's go with logistics. We're going to go with a conveyor splitter. And we're going to back it up enough that make sure that there's room to be able to uh, work with all of the materials we've got punching through here. And we're going to eliminate this line because we're going to have to kind of weave it down here a little bit so that it all fits. And we're going to run with Mark 1 conveyors is all we need for these. That's going to go into that one. Mark 1 into this one. So they're not going to be running 100% efficient, efficient until I can get them overclocked with Mark three conveyors. And let's actually place that in the right spot instead of that being. So if you want to get perfect 90 degrees, you line it up to where you want to go in. You back up to click it. And then when you go and click again, it's two steps to get that perfect 90 degree turn for your conveyor belt. And then here we can go with our Mark two conveyor. And if we line this up nicely, like so. Done. That's being fed there. And I actually need to change this to Mark 1 conveyor because I don't want that being Mark 2's there. All right, let's get some power over here. We're going to throw this right here. And we might as well just... Let's see, where can I line these up with it properly? I want it to be perfect. And you know what the best way to make that is? is we're going to put this one right here, line it up right in the middle. And we'll line this in the middle. That one in the middle. That one in, if I actually connect it properly. Okay, let's power these units all up here. The other thing we're going to have to keep an eye on too is uh, obviously our power consumption is going to start climbing. 600 watts is what we're making right now. We may end up having to go and find another coal node to get things running properly there. Let's switch this all to steel, ing steel ingots so this starts loading. Okay, so what I'm doing to be able to get this all to distribute correctly here is I've put down three splitters here all in a row of course i've got this one facing the wrong way so let's fix that here real quick three splitters like so okay so i could delete these bottom ones and basically how what that does is this gets us so that we're lined up here nice and even for a elevator to be able to walk through and have those all click and lock into place so that one there is connected of course i did remove this line just to make it a little bit easier to kind of work with here so i'm going to rehook that back up and then i could feed a conveyor line from here see it's not it's not perfect it's not exactly what i would have wanted actually you know what we'll do so that this is perfect is i'm going to go with these splitters here as well so i'm just going to grab these splitters get this where it lines up one of those, one of those, one of those, and then we'll delete this out. And then I can then grab the elevator and this will connect and lock into place nice and evenly. And then we can just go with our Mark 1 conveyor belt across like so. 
And then we'll do the exact same thing over on this side. So I'm just going to nuke this line. We'll grab some more splitters here. Make sure that it does line up with that. Because that's the one we're working with. Place that one. That one. And that one. Delete the bottom two because we don't need those. And then we can grab our Mark 1 elevator. Click. Click. And you hear that little chirp? I'm going to do it again so you can hear it. Grab the elevator. Listen for the listen for the chirp as it goes down. That means it's locked and engaged with that. So when you disconnect, it means that it's connected to this piece of equipment. So that little chirp is kind of important to hear. Or else you would just have random materials just getting dumped into nothing vill. So. And then for this one here, we'll just come down with a nether conveyor like so. And then we could bring this line over, which is 120 items per minute. Click it on there. Line it up nice and kind of even-ish here. I bet you we'll have to do it this way. Without falling. Click back to. And then in just to get that nice 90 degree bend in there. So that is now feeding our coal in. Of course, everything's powered up. So that means this should start making steel ingots for it here pretty quick. Yeah, we've already got three steel ingots, so it is slowly starting to fire up. Now, like I said, this is not running 100% right now, and that is simply because we only have 120 items per minute coming in instead of 135 items per minute, because three times 45 is 135 items per minute. Make sure I got that math right. Sounds like it works. And... So we're 15 items per minute shy on having all of these running perfect. When we get Mark III conveyor belts, I will be able to take my Mark I miners and I can overclock them a little bit to make this more effective up here. So how many ingots are we making? We are making 45. Technically, no, we're only making 120 items per minute right now. So we can actually merge all this into one line because we're only going as fast as what's going into this. So I am literally just going to merge this bad boy then. Let's get the green arrow pointing the right way. There we go. We've lined up. So we are 45 items per minute in this way again. Back two to get it to line up with the 90 degree conveyor belt. Same for this side, so because we're only as fast as the items going in, I am fine with merging these all together. And so now we have our steel ingots. We're making steel ingots. Next is going to be steel pipe. Oh, we might as well hook this bad boy up because this isn't working right now. There we go, it is now. Which gives me the ability to throw away a little bit of this iron that I've got sitting in my inventory, so... 120 items per minute of steel ingots getting made. Now we got to work on making steel beams, steel pipe, and industrial case steel beams. Alrighty, so I have our foundries up and running, running here. They are producing our 120 steel ingots per minute coming off of there. It is then fed into this splitter. We have 60 steel ingots going into this constructor which requires 60 per minute to be able to make 15 per minute of steel beams. Steel beams are getting made in this constructor. On this side, we are going into a splitter and then we're splitting off that way and that way, which require 30 items per minute of steel beams on each of those to produce a total of 40 items per minute of our steel beams, which are coming out merging together on this side and then feeding into this storage container. I've also put a splitter here so that we can use those steel beams later on for other construction. I also have a splitter in line here as well so we can use the steel beams, sorry, the splitters right here, 
use the steel beams later on for being able to make the industrial encased steel beams. So, um, concrete. We'll need to pull some concrete from down there up here to look after that construction line when we get to there. So there's our steel beams and our steel pipes are getting manufactured to be able to continue on with our milestones. Well, I'm waiting for the steel uh, beams and pipes to kind of build up there a little bit so we can start turning in some milestones. Our hard drive research is complete. So we have some alternate recipes. We have copper alloy ingot, which is combining copper and iron to be able to make copper ingots. We also have pure copper ingots, which is being able to make copper and water to be able to make. This one here is actually really quite good because uh, this really maximizes the amount of copper that you can get out of a single node using refineries. So I'm actually gonna select this one for our first alternate recipe out of our hard drives. So uh, alien organism, I think we might be able to now actually complete, no, I think it's under quartz. I believe I have some quartz over here because I stumbled across some of the raw quartz kind of just out there the little kind of like fragment nodes that are out there where you can just grab them by hand mining. So yeah, we can actually do the quartz crystal and then new products in the awesome shop as well too is what we get out of that. So start researching on that. And that is now unlocked. And we also now get shatter rebar uh, that we'll be able to research as well, where we're going to need a whole pile of rebar and then some uh, quartz crystals instead of raw quartz. And now we also have got the crystal oscillator, so we just need to be able to make some quartz crystals with that. That's just running quartz into a uh, constructor to be able to make the quartz crystals. So um, it's crazy easy to do. Uh, that's like, there's a couple of nodes close by here. We could just run some power over there, throw a miner on top of it and run it into a constructor just to um, be able to crank these researches out for us. Sulfur, I don't know if there's anything else I can do here. I don't think I have enough sulfur because I believe I need 50 sulfur. Yeah, I've only got 39 sulfur. So I haven't actually found a sulfur node yet. Um, I've just found some the occasional little outcropping that I have taken some sulfur from. Okay, uh, I'm going to go grab some steel and we'll get that finished. All right, let's have a look at our milestones. We're going to advanced steel production. This, we're selecting this one. We need steel pipe. We need 200 rotors. We need 1,500 copper wire. And we need 300 concrete. That is good to go. Launch away. That milestone is now complete. Let's have a look now at hypertubes. What do I need there? I just, I need a bunch more steel pipe and industrial encased steel beams. Well, we're not manufacturing those yet, so we're a little bit off from that one. This one here, I need more steel beams and more steel pipe. So let's go gather up some more materials. Alrighty, so I have built a production line here to be able to make our industrial encased steel beams, but the problem is we're not making a whole lot of the actual steel beams to begin with. We can only make 15 items per minute of them with half of our total steel ingot production is going into making these 15 steel beams. Well, this here requires more, like I've got it underclocked so that it'll take 15. I want to say that it takes close to like 35 steel beams per minute, 30 steel beams maybe I, well let's look it up 63 percent is where we were uh 24 so 24 steel beams per minute is what it requires and while we're not producing anywhere near that we would need at least one more production line here but i would need to shut off my steel pipe based off of what we're making here so we're definitely going to need to upgrade uh get either mark two miners going so that we can get more production off of our nodes get the faster conveyors so that these are running at 100 percent because right now i am running this one at 60 percent this is running at 100 percent because we are getting our 60 items per minute in there 
So uh, this is going to be really slow going, making the industrial encased steel beams, which of course we're going to need for the Mark III conveyors. So we're kind of stuck at that little quick catch-22. I guess the only other option would be find another coal node, find another iron node, and run another production up here of all of this steel production that we've got going here. So that, I mean, that's still an option. We can definitely go and do that. But for now, I do believe I have enough materials to go and turn in the next milestone. So let us run over to our little hub over here. I don't need that there. I was just, I placed that assembler down there to kind of see, okay, what do I need to be able to get things built up there? And so on and so forth. All right, hyper tubes. This one we can't do because I don't have 50 of those yet. Logitech, well, here we are, Logitech. <laughs> Logistics Mark III. This gets us our new conveyors. We have everything for this. So let us throw in our beams, throw in our pipe, and throw in some concrete. Launch away. We can now make Mark Milestone III conveyors. Reach. Logistics can be improved with a larger storage container. The downside is Mark III conveyors. Oh, it takes just regular steel beams. Nice. Nice. Um, okay, then. Then I can tweak this up so that it just makes enough encased steel beams so that I can turn in that next milestone and actually put a splitter back in place there so that we are still gathering up steel beams. Because the steel beams are more important to me right now because I want the next conveyor belt. Conveyor belts are important. All right, it's now time to finish our last milestone for tier four. Let's head over to the computer system. This is HyperTubes. Select this. We need copper sheeting is in. We need steel pipe and encased industrial steel beams. That is launched away. Milestone introducing pipe note. Fix it. Okay. Where are we at now? We need to be able to unlock tiers um, five and six with the space elevator. So space elevator, we look at this. I need to be making some more smart plating. I need to be making versatile framework. And we also need to be making automated wiring. We're a long ways away from that. But let's have a look at what we've got now in our production capabilities. We can make Mark II miners now. We can also do logistics mark three conveyors so that is our goal now is we are going to in the next episode everything's going to get ramped up again we're going to double up everything now with mark three the mark two miners the mark three conveyors everything's going to be able to double up we're going to be able to make more plate make more rods make more screws make more steel all the way around, more concrete, more copper. So we're gonna focus in the next episode is doubling the scale of our factory and then making the production lines that are required to be able to get the versatile framework and the automated wiring. So up top here so that I could make sure that I have enough industrial uh, encased steel beams, those Oh, I got to go up one more floor here. One more floor to the top. I have basically I've turned off the pipe manufacturing for right now. And everything is getting dumped into either making steel beams or encased steel beams. I do have enough pipe right now. Like if I look at my manufacturing here, if we're going to organization, no, sorry, production. And I look at my Mark II Miner. It's 20 pipe to put down one miner. Well, I have enough to be able to do like 15 miners. So that's a non-issue right there. I am good for pipe for what I need at this particular moment. What I do need though is I need about a total of like 90 to 100 industrial case beams. I will need that for sure. And then I'm also going to need a whack ton of steel beams because that's what's needed for our 
Mark III conveyor belts, which are those Mark III conveyor belts will be able to do 270 items per minute. Our Mark II miners on a pure node should be able to get us 240 items per minute. So our belts are going to be plenty fast for what we're doing here to the point that, you know what, if need be, I can overclock those to be able to get them up to the 270 items per minute. It's things to consider anyway. Now with that said, that's going to take more power consumption. Where are we sitting right now for our power usage? We're still okay. We still have a little bit of a buffer here on our power, so I'm not overly concerned with it. So, so that's the plan for the next episode is Space Elevator, but first the factory upgrade so that everything is Mark II miners with Mark III conveyors to basically double our entire production line here because I'm kind of starving on materials and we need to get that done. So reach down, hit the like button on this video if you could. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you think of Satisfactory Update 6 so far. And um, you can reach over and click that subscribe button if you are new to the channel. Reach down and ring that notification bell as well too so you can be notified when I have uploaded a brand new video. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter at TerraceDWDC because I also post over there too when we have, uh, when I've uploaded a new video because YouTube notifications can be sketch at times. So with that said, you guys all have a good one and we will see you in the next episode.